There's very few times where I'm left with a question that I'm struggling to find the answer to, but when asked how to upgrade the brand new 2022 Polaris Pro R and make it better, I, I kind of was left scratching my head. The Pro R 2 liter is a beast of a side-by-side, -side, coming from the factory with a literal inline four-cylinder car engine, pumping out 225 horsepower and built like it's ready for war. This is one serious, well, scratch that, reverse. This is the most serious side-by-side -side ever produced and sold by a manufacturer, and not just by a little bit. This side-by-side -side right here rewrites the rules we all thought were being played by and sets a whole new standard for the future of manufacturer-built off-road vehicles. So back to my original question, how do you make what is undeniably the best side-by-side -side ever produced even better? Well, the first thing that you do is go direct to the source and find out what Polaris has already built for it. And let me tell you, Polaris has a ton of stuff already designed and built for the Pro-R. I mean, this right here is just a small sample of all the products they offer that I believe is gonna take us to the next level and just sort of set our Pro-R apart from a stalker. Now, because it's so much fun watching me step-by-step -step install every single accessory, I'm just gonna skip most of the nuts and bolts type shots. I'm gonna get this beast out on the trail and talk you through how all the accessories actually function in the real world as I'm actually driving the Pro-R. Sound like a plan? Well, good, let's get to it. So on every other Polaris vehicle that we put winches on, typically with the Razor, you gotta take the front hood off, get underneath, that's where all the wiring goes on and you feed stuff through the firewall. Pro-R, you don't have to do that. So just remember, if you're putting a winch on your Pro-R, you can route everything externally. You go through the firewall, through the little rubber biscuit, you plug everything into the bus bar, which is underneath the center storage console. So keep that in mind. So I'm just installing the light bar and I'm routing the wires through the roll cage of the Razor. And one of the things that I find really handy, Polaris does a great job of the internal routing lines and even where it comes out is nice and tapered and, and it's usually pretty easy. You're gonna find every once in a while that certain wires just don't wanna go through. Take a zip tie, electrical tape it to the end of the wires, make sure that you make it nice and tight and there's nothing sticking up. And I find that the zip tie comes through the bottom hole way easier. You can reach that, you can grab it with uh, needle nose pliers or whatever. It just seems to be something that really works well for me. So hopefully it helps you out too. So I just finished installing the Polaris over fenders and I just wanted to let you know because as I go along, it's interesting to see the different level of uh, expertise you need to put some of these parts on. The over fenders are super easy to put on. They go on really smooth and Polaris engineers have done a great job at integrating these. It's like maybe a half hour job, worst case scenario if you're unskilled. You're gonna do it in 15 minutes if you know what you're doing. These things are really nice. So I know in the test ride, both for the Turbo and for the Pro-R, Luke and I have both talked about how beefy and big the hub assembly and the brakes and all of the front end equipment on this vehicle is. But man, when you get the wheels and tires off and you see just how thick this disc brake rotor is and how big these brakes are and the size of this like just solid beefy hub assembly, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, a unitized hub is very cool as well because when you wanna change that sucker out, it's just like a pickup truck. You put on a new hub assembly. It's, uh, this, is, this is next level in strength that Polaris is going to. So obviously right away I notice a couple of things. Number one being the glass windshield. It's really nice. I mean, this is automotive style. Probably the nicest windshield I've ever seen on a side-by-side. -side. It's really tidy. Uh, it's got a little vent down on the bottom and it's solid glass too, so I know it's not gonna scratch like a typical poly shield.
Now, the side close-off panels inside here are really nice too on the doors. Gives me an awesome spot for my elbow. My elbow fits down here just perfectly. Um, it's cleaned up and the coolest part about it is when I blast through the water, all the water doesn't come pouring in like it did before. Then obviously we got the back uh, kind of close-off panel back here. Um, it's made out of like a Lexan. Actually looks a lot like a snowmobile windshield, the material. But the inside of the cab now, there's no dust swirling around and coming in. It's very tidy. So when you buy a Pro R, obviously, you know, if you've got the navigation screen, you got the ride command, you get backup cameras. This one's got the forwards and the rear facing camera. That's pretty awesome. The reality is having a rear view mirror and side view mirrors is really, really nice. I mean, it just gives you visuals of all those things that you might not otherwise see. And the cameras, while good, don't give you adjustable uh, range of view. The nice thing is that this field of view, I can alter and change, I can shift it, I can move it around. It works really good. Functionally out on the trail, we got the Pro Armor Crawler XG33s on this thing. I am blown away. I mean, I can't even, I can't even understand how we have 33 inch tires on a side by side now. Like, where are we? Most pickup trucks don't even come with 33s on them. That's insane. But these Crawler XGs are a great tire. Everything's riding really smooth. You're in the best side by side built. <laughs> You're not feeling anything anyways, but the grip that these provide is really, really good. It feels great. So obviously one of the biggest things that I always love to do is put a winch on a side-by-side -side or an ATV. You're gonna use it all the time. There's never a shortage of times when you're gonna use it or when somebody else needs it. Um, and the 6,000 pound rapid recovery winch from Polaris, oh my goodness, let me tell you, this thing has power for days. Strongest winch I've ever put on a side-by-side, -side, but that 6,000 pounds of tow capacity or pull capacity is, well, it's pure insanity. I mean, you can pull anything. I ripped a tree in half. This thing works really good. It's got rapid recovery, so the speed coming back into the winch when you put it in high gear is two times faster. The bumper that it's mounted to, the high clearance bumper, really nice. Uh, installing it wasn't a hassle at all. It worked really well, went on easy, um, and it fits up really nice. It looks good, but it's still not too big. You know, It doesn't have huge wings off the side, which I'm not a massive fan of. It's just the right size. Out back, the high clearance bumper there is great too just in case when you're backing up, you get a little too close to something and it makes the style of this thing just up the next level. Now, along with coverage, um, we've got the, the big fender flares on this thing. The front ones, when you put them on, you're like, whoa, these are huge. And then you stand back after you put the front and rears on and you go, oh, they still don't entirely cover. They're nice looking, they're big. They're kind of like bushwhackers on a Jeep. The uh, coverage, I mean, when I'm going through the water, you'll see me blasting through, it's just exploding everywhere. And I mean, my arms, I'm not wet, I'm not soaked, I'm not muddy. They work really good. I think they're a nice feature, I'd buy them. Obviously, when you go for a ride, you wanna have some storage. So I, I got the 10 quart storage bag here in between me and the passenger, which is really nice. You can put bottles of water, snacks, the stuff that you wanna get to really easy, your cell phone if you want. It's nice, goes on really simple. Then in the back, I got the 60 quart, a uh, big cargo box, it's lock and ride, so it's four, four lock and ride plungers and you're in. Works great, you can put stuff in it, or if you're going overnight, there's more than enough space back there to throw stuff in and be able to do an overnight trip or just have all that gear that you might need, safety kits and tire repair stuff and whatever you might need. There's lots of room back there, so having that storage is always really handy. So a couple of the electronics that I really appreciate inside of here, is the Rockford Fosgate Stage 3 audio upgrade is a 12-inch subwoofer with a built-in amplifier. It is serious, serious sub. That thing is so much bass, it's really, really loud, has its own amplifier, hooks into the uh, the power of the of the side-by-side, -side, so you got you know a really serious stereo add-on there. So that's a that's a really nice feature. It goes in pretty easy, takes a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. So then the other uh, electronic accessory that we put on was the dual row LED light bar from Pro Armor. And that came with the uh, pulse bar adapter harness and then also the uh, illuminated switch inside the cab here that looks just like the other uh, switch inside the cab here for changing your drive modes. You hook it right into the pulse bar and pulse bar has power and ground. So super, super simple, really easy. I mean, Polaris is doing that with just about everything now. And it's really smart because it makes accessorizing your vehicle something you can do at home if you're not comfortable with electronics. 
Um, the LED light bar, it's 30 inch, it's dual row, and it throws a ton of light. Now, I haven't used it at night yet, but I'm planning to get out for a night ride and have some fun. And you can never have too much light. And it does really give the front of this buggy just kind of that little bit more aggressive look. I really like it. I can turn it on in the middle of a sunny day and I can see it illuminating stuff in front of me. This thing's super bright. Overall, I'm super impressed with all the parts and pieces we put on our Pro-R. And I think that you're gonna be really impressed with any of these that you purchase for yours.